with the growth in the urbanization and consumption of resources the problem of trash and waste production has also gone up some of the people are not concerned about where to put the waste like wrappers plastic bottle etc so how to avoid the people to put the waste or garbage in the perfect place hey hello guys this is shubhaprato and welcome to our channel circle in today's life it is not so easy to avoid people by just only telling them so i found a pretty cool idea to avoid and engage people to dispose their garbage into the right place i made a iot based garbage disposal system where if people dispose some garbage they will be rewarded with some gift coupons in my case uh, this that is the plastic bags so in this video i will show you how i made the iot based garbage disposal system so don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started before we jump into the video i have an announcement to make If you are someone who loves to read the technical articles then I have a good news for them. From today 8th August 2021 we are launching our official website circuitician.com where you can find some interesting technical article about my project and new tech updates. So go and subscribe to our newsletter to get regular updates and you can find the link in the description. As a brain of the whole system I will use a node mcu board and i use a weight machine for measuring the weight of the garbage now let's see how the weight machine works for measuring the weight of the garbage i will use a 10 kg load cell load cell consists of basically strain gauge strain gauge is a type of resistance which resistance change with the changing strain or weight if you don't know about strain gauge or you want to know more about strain gauge you can check out my video on resistance you can get the link in the i button this is a wheatstone bridge configuration in this configuration resistance fixed resistance are replaced with this four strain gauge if resistance of this any of this strain gauge is changed the voltage output is also changed to my measuring this voltage we can detect the load but the voltage change is very less or very small so to detect the voltage change i will use a analog to digital converter hx711 it has a resolution of 24 bit and if we supply this module with 3.3 volt supply it can measure a voltage difference of 0.19 microvolt by using this whole setup this load cell and hx711 adc we can measure the weight of the garbage i will use some push buttons for some control inputs and a lcd display to display the weight and many more things you will know later on After that I will use a plastic dispenser system. Now let's see how the plastic dispenser system works. For the plastic dispenser I use a wooden box and in front of the wooden box I fix a micro servo SG90. It will open and close the gate of the wooden box which is basically a plastic dispenser. And for counting the dispensed plastic I use a infrared sensor module. which will count the number of dispensed plastic and send the data to the node mcu board after the whole operation is being done the data is uploaded to the thingspeak server here we have a 20 cross 4 lcd display with i2c driver which vcb pin is connected to 5 volt ground is connected to ground SDA is connected to D2 and SCL is connected to D1 because D1 and D2 is the SCL and SDA pin of node MCU after that we have the load cell and the HX711 module load cell has four wires red black green and white 
white is connected to a plus green is connected to a minus black is connected to e minus and red is connected to e plus and in the other side for communication with node mcu the hx711 module has four pins vcc and gaun is for power supply where vcc pin is connected to 3.3 volt and ground is connected to ground and sck is connected to pin number d5 of node mcu and the dt pin of the hx711 is connected to d6 pin of the node mcu after that we have three buttons for tear measure and dispense if we press the tear button the weighing scale will be tear and for uh, if we press the measure button then it will calculate the rp points or uh, reward points of what you put in the weight machine and if we press the dispense button the plastic dispensers gate will be open these three switches are connected to d7 d3 and d4 pin of the node mcu and i make a diode arrangement and a buzzer for that if we press any of this switch the buzzer will be for open and closing the uh, dispensing uh, plastic dispenser gate i use a servo motor sg90 a small servo motor it is also called micro servo motor uh, i supply this servo motor with a 5 volt supply and the signal is connected to d0 pin of the node mcu for counting the plastic from the plastic dispenser i use these two infrared sensors which is placed underneath the uh, dispenser machine uh, one on the left side and another in the right side if any of these sensors is activated the output will be fed through a diode to the 7404 not gate because the IR sensors has a out has a output of active low signal but we have to read the signal in active high mode so i use this not gate ic to invert this signal i connect the output pin of the first not gate first not gate to the d8 pin of node mcu and the input of the first not gate is connected to the output of this ir sensors through two diodes and I supply these IR sensors and the 7404 NOT gate IC with 3.3 volt supply. And that is it for the circuit diagram.
to set up your thingspeak server first you have to come to this link thingspeak.com then click on get started for free and if you don't have an account then click on create account and i will fast forward this part because you know how to create account in any website so next after creating your account this page will appear now click on new channel here you have to give a name to your channel i am giving iot wet system and you can also put some description if you want and here are several fields these fields are also like data pipelines uh, here are eight fields but i will need only three so i will check three fields field one field two and field three and i will name the first field as wait the second field as reward points and the third field as total plastic count after setting these channels click on save channel this three channel will be saved now you can see here there are three charts first for the weight second for the reward points and third for the total plastic count now by clicking this pencil button which is basically edit button you can change the title x axis title color background color of every chart so i will only change the title of the every chart the first type chart title will be weight second chart title will be reward points and the third chart uh, third chart title will be total plastic count i am putting tpc or short form and after setting you have to click the save button to save the title and here is two credentials to identify your channel one is your channel id which is given over here and another is api key for getting your api key click on this api keys and from here you can copy the api key which we will use later on in the code that's it for setting the uh, things peak server now let's jump into the coding part for taking the reading from hx seven double one module i use this library hx seven double one adc for lcd display which is connected with a i square c module i used wired.h library and liquid crystal i2c library for connecting the node mc module to wi-fi i use this esp8266 wi-fi.h library for driving the servo motor i use servo.h library and to send the data to the thingspeak i use this thingspeak.h library I connect the SCK and DT pin of the HX711 module to 12th and 14th number pin of node MCU which is basically D6 and D5 pin. After that I declare the I2C address of the I2C module and the display is of 20 uh, columns and 4 rows. After that I declare the tear button in the pin number D7 the measure button which is marked as start is in the pin d3 and the displace button which is marked as go in the d4 pin after that i connect the infrared sensors output through the uh, not gate ic in the pin number d8 after that i declare some variables after that I uh, declare the channel number and API key of the Thingspeak server. Then starting the serial communication at the baud rate of 1100 at the baud rate of 115200. Then I declare the servo pin is D0, servo motor is attached to D0 and the make the servo angle 115 degree. 
after that i declared the inputs as input button as input pull up and the infrared sensor input as a normal input then i uh, printed some line in the lcd display which is not connected please connect to the wi-fi and after that i use wi-fi smart config library to connect the wife uh, connect the node mcu module to the wi-fi using the esp8266 smart config application mobile application i will put the link for that in the description after the module is connected to the wi-fi network it, it will print the ip address in the after uh, the module is connected to the wi-fi network it will print the ip address of ip address in the lcd screen after that the things speak library will start and then after the load cell library basically which is hx711 library will also start and i have a calibration factor of my weight machine is 231.51 and for in for your setup it might be different you can find out this calibration factor using this hx711 libraries uh, calibration code which is available in this library so after that i will print uh, something in this uh, After that, I print something in this uh, LCD screen for initial startup and all. Then I will take the reading in the i variable by writing this code load cell dot get data, and it will print the value in the LCD screen. And if the weight is more than ten thousand gram, which is ten kg, the meter the lcd screen basically shows overload indication and by pressing the tear button you can make the weight zero and after pressing the measure button or uh, which is marked as start here uh, the uh, system will calculate the reward points and the number of dispensable plastics or in case if you are using any gift coupons number of gift coupons then after pressing the dispense button which is marked here go the system will send a signal to the servo motor and servo motor uh, rotate and open the gate of the plastic dispenser and you can take the plastics or any gift coupons which are you putting over there and the infrared sensors will count that uh, number of plastics you take and close the gate and the number of plastic is depend upon how much garbage how much weight of your garbage is and this is the all about the code only you have to change the thing speak uh, channel number and the api key these two things now upload this code in the board and let's see this project in action this is the iot weight machine this upper part is the weighing scale plate where you have to put some garbage for weight measurement and this is the display panel with some switches. This is the plastic dispenser box. A servo motor is attached in front of it with a plastic padding to open and close the gate. And here are two infrared sensors for counting how much plastic is dispensed. And from its top part, I can put plastic bags or you can put anything you want to give as a gift 
and here is the whole setup. I am connecting this node MCU to the Wi-Fi and it is showing that it Wi-Fi connected and after initiating up I am pressing the tearing button to make the wing scale 0 and I am putting my power bank as a garbage and it is showing that uh, the weight is 225 gram and when I press the dispense button the servo gate will open and I am able to collect the plastic. After collecting two plastic the servo motor will turn and close the gate automatically. And in the computer screen, you can see that the three charts which I showed you previously, weight, reward points, and the plastic dispensed is updated. If you guys like this video then make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends and if you have any query or ask, you want to ask anything then comment down below and if you want you can follow me in Facebook and Instagram, link is given in the description and if you are watching me for the first time or new to this channel then make sure you subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more, for more further notifications and the most important thing be creative.